Hello, hello, it's Thumplet here. Here's an item on number theory. Find the remainder when 1 raised to 2018 plus 2 raised to 2018 plus 3 raised to 2018 plus so on and so forth until plus 2017 raised to 2018 is divided by 2018. Credits to the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad for this item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now, uh, the very obvious approach is to do modular arithmetic. Now, when we try to use modular arithmetic, it would be very nice if um, this number here, the number that we're taking the remainder when it's divided by, in this case, 2018, is very nice if 2018 is a prime number. But in this case, it's not. So let's try to use the Chinese remainder theorem to help us solve this item. Now, well, to use the Chinese remainder theorem, we must find uh, prime factors of 2018 first. Now, 2018 factors very nicely. It, it's just 2 times 1009, and these two numbers are indeed prime. So, in order to uh, get the remainder via Chinese remainder theorem, we have to take uh, mod 2, or modulo 2, and modulo 1009. So, let's try to do that. So, the mod 2 is the easier case, so let's try to take this sum, mod 2. So, 1 raised to 2018 becomes 1, 2 raised to 2018 becomes 0, 3 raised to 18 becomes 1, and this pattern will alternate. And then until 2017 raised to 2018, modulo 2, it's going to be 1. Now we can easily uh, note that this is uh, sums of 1 and zeros, but it ends at 1. And we can count, um, because we know that even numbers will correspond to a 0, and odd numbers will correspond to a 1. So we note that 2018 over here, sorry, 2017 over here, it's the 1,009th odd, uh, positive odd integer. So we know that there are an odd number of ones. Now, since there's an odd number of ones, we can conclude that this sum under modulo 2 is just equal to 1. So we're just going to conclude for now that it's 1 modulo 2. Now, we would get the same uh, sum, but under modulo 1,009. Now, modulo 1009 is a little bit more uh, complicated, but that's not a worry since 1009 is a prime number. So we can use Fermat's little theorem. Now, Fermat's little theorem states that if we want to uh, take, for example, uh, a, and then if we raise it to p minus 1, where p is a prime number, we can say that this number is 1 modulo p. Well, it should be given enough, it should be given that uh, the GCD of alpha, sorry, not alpha, the GCD of a and p. Uh, it should be 1. Now, we can write this sum as follows because we know that um, we can replace p by 1009 here. So p, let's make it 1009. So under mod 1009, a raised to 1008, it's going to give um, 1 mod 1009, given that the GCD of a and, well, p in this case is 1009. So I know that 1 raised to 2018, I can reduce it into 1 squared. Now, why 1 squared? Because 20, 2018, I can write it as 2 times uh, 1008, then plus 2. So I'm just taking what's, what remains. So this will be true for all the exponents, uh, for all the other add-ins. So I can reduce 2 raised, to eight, 2 raised to 2018 into 2 squared, 3 raised to 2018 into 2 squared as well, and so on. Now, you might be wondering, um, how about the 1009 raised to 2018? Now, yes, it is indeed true that we cannot apply uh, for Maslow's little theorem if A here is 1009. But then again, 1009 raised to 2018, it's 0 modulo 1009. Well, I can simply replace this with 1009 raised to 2. And it's still 0 modulo 1009. So it's not going to change the sum. So I'm just going to maintain this pattern since we have a nice pattern, which is the pattern or the sum, sorry, the sum of squares. So uh, I'm just going to write 1009 raised to 2018 in terms of 1009 squared. So I can uh, maintain this pattern. And having this pattern is nice because I'll be able to implement it in here because we have the formula for the sum of squares. So 1 squared plus 2 squared until n squared, it's the, uh, the closed form for this sum is given to be this. So I can write this sum. Uh, in terms of, well, 2017. So it's going to be 2017 times 2017 plus 1, which is 2018, times 
2n plus 1, and you can easily do that. It's going to be equal to 430, sorry, 4,035. And we want to divide this expression by 6. Now, you can do some cancellations. Uh, the 6 and the 2018 can cancel, so it's going to be 3 and 1,009. The 3 and the 4,035 can cancel, so it's going to be 1, 3, 4, 5. Now, what's nice about this is that there's a factor of 1,009 here. So this sum, or the original sum, which is equal to this, and which is equal to this again, uh, since it has a factor of 1,009, well, this is just actually 0 mod 1,009. And that's very nice because we now have the sum, or the initial sum, uh, of the powers of 2018 under mod 2 and mod 1,009. So we have this sum to be 1 mod 2 and this sum to be 0 mod 1,009. Now we can finally uh, get um, this sum under mod 2018. Now the Chinese remainder theorem states that um, there is only one value of k in the set 1, 2, sorry, sorry, 0, 1, 2 until 2017. So there's only one number here that's going to be the, um, this sum under mod 2018. And whatever this value of k is, it must satisfy 1 mod 2 and 0 mod 1009. So it must satisfy both of these, well, uh, smaller congruences that we got. Now, it's not that easy to check that k here should be 1009. Now, if you can see, k 1009 is indeed 1 modulo 2, and 1009 is indeed 0 mod 1009. So, by the Chinese remainder theorem, there's only one value in this set, and we've successfully found one, either by trial and error, or you can try to do some congruences, but nevertheless, uh, we found a value for k, so we can finally conclude that the remainder, when the sum 1 raised to 2018 plus 2 raised to 2018, and so on, when divided by 2018, the remainder is going to be 1009. And this is the final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!